Hello friends, welcome back to Infigam. Today in this video, we have another very very interesting question from algebra. Here we have to evaluate expression x minus y over x whole power 76 plus x minus y over y whole power 76. Given that x and y cannot be equal to 0. And equation x square plus y square plus xy equal to 0. So let's get started by considering this required expression equal to e first. Now I will write our equation which is given to us x square plus y square plus xy equal to 0. Now I will subtract both sides 3xy. So let us write here minus 3xy and here also minus 3xy. So I can write our equation x square plus y square minus 2xy will be equal to negative 3xy. Now LHS is one algebraic formula x minus y whole square and RHS is negative 3xy. Now x and y cannot be 0. So I can divide both sides by x square. This side also we will write x square in the denominator. Now LHS will become the first term or first bracket of our required expression x minus y over x whole square. You can see the bracket x minus y over x. RHS will be equal to minus x and x will be cancelled out. So minus 3y over x. This is our equation number 1. Similarly, we will divide both sides by y square. Let us divide x minus y whole square. This was equal to minus 3xy. Now we will divide both sides by y square. So we will write here y square, y square. So here we will cancel one y from the numerator and denominator. So I can write LHS x minus y over y whole square. This bracket is matching with our second bracket of the required expression. Right hand side we will be writing minus 3x over y. Let's say this is equation number 2. Now I will write our required expression e x minus y over x whole power 76 plus x minus y over y whole power 76. In next step, we can split 76 as 2 times 38. So I will write x minus y whole square and then we will put power 38. Similarly here, x minus y over y whole square and then we will put whole power 38. Now we will use equation 1 and equation 2. So we will replace x minus y whole square by writing over there minus 3y over x. And then we will put power 38 by equation number 1. Now from equation 2, we will write here minus 3x over y whole power will be 38. So this is our simplified form of expression which we are looking for. Let me write this expression here. Here it is. Now using exponent laws, we can write our expression equal to, I will write here minus 3 raised to the power 38. And then we can write y over x whole power 38 plus again we will write minus 3 raised to the power 38 times x over y 
whole power 38. Now negative number with even power will be always positive. So I can write directly 3 power 38 which I will take completely common out. So in bracket I can write y over x whole power 38 plus x over y whole power 38. Now I will consider y over x this bracket only equal to alpha and this bracket x over y we will consider beta. So we are looking for the expression 3 power 38 in bracket alpha power 38 plus beta power 38. Now I will write here alpha and beta value. So alpha is y over x and beta is x over y. If I will calculate alpha times beta, this will be equal to y over x times x over y. So x and x, y and y will be cancelled out. We will get alpha beta equal to 1. So I will write here alpha times beta equal to 1. Now let us calculate alpha plus beta also. This will be equal to y over x plus x over y. Now we can take LCM and we can write this will be equal to y square plus x square or x square plus y square in the numerator and denominator will be xy. Now equation given was x square plus y square plus xy equal to 0. So from here we can write the value of our numerator x square plus y square will be minus xy. So alpha plus beta will be equal to minus xy. Here we will apply value minus xy and denominator is xy. So we will get alpha plus beta negative 1. So if I will write here alpha plus beta negative 1 and alpha times beta is 1. Then we can think about one quadratic equation whose roots are alpha and beta. Then first equation alpha plus beta is minus 1. This is sum of roots alpha times beta. Product of roots. So we can write one quadratic in t. So t square minus sum of roots which is minus 1 times variable plus product of roots which is 1 equal to 0. Roots of this equation would be alpha and beta. So I can write here our quadratic t square plus t plus 1 equal to 0 whose roots are alpha and beta. Now I will multiply both sides by let me write equation once t square plus t plus 1 equal to 0. Now we can see t equal to 1 won't satisfy this equation. Now I will multiply both sides by t minus 1. So I will write t square plus t plus 1 and once we will multiply in RHS we will get 0. Now LHS is one identity t cube minus 1 cube. So here we can write our algebraic formula a cube minus b cube so t cube minus 1 cube equal to 0 or I can write t cube equal to 1. Now if I will plug in t equal to alpha we will get alpha cube equal to 1 and if I will apply t equal to beta we will get beta cube equal to 1. So these results we are going to put in our required expression which was e equal to 3 power 38 in the bracket alpha power 38 plus beta power 38. Let's put both the values to our expression. We will write here E equal to 3 power 38 in bracket 
alpha power 38. I will write alpha square times alpha power 36 plus beta power 38. I will write beta square times beta power 36. Now this will be equal to 3 power 38. In the bracket we will write alpha square times alpha power 36 will be alpha cube whole power 12. 3 times 12 is 36. Similarly here beta square will be as it is. Beta power 36 will be beta cube whole power 12. Now alpha cube equal to 1 equal to beta cube. So here we will write 1. 1 power 12 is 1. Here also we will write 1. So our expression will become 3 power 38. In the bracket alpha square times 1 which is alpha square beta square times 1 which is beta square. Now again we can use algebraic formula a square plus b square. So let me write here 3 power 38 as it is. Here we will be writing alpha plus beta whole square minus 2 alpha beta. Now we know that alpha plus beta was negative 1. So we will write 3 power 38. Here we will be writing negative 1 whole square and alpha beta was 1. So 2 times 1. This will give us 3 power 38 in bracket 1 minus 2. So our final answer becomes expression E will be negative of 3 power 38. I hope friends you will like this video. Thank you so very much for watching. Do not forget to like, share, subscribe and hype. Bye bye till next video. Good luck. Take care. Bye bye.